In this video, I'm going to show you the official way to show your live comments or your live chat uh, on YouTube live using OBS. Basically, this way is clean, it's easy, and it gives you some elegant and good looking design for your live chat on YouTube live. So let's not take much time. Let's get right into it. What's up guys, my name is Sam from my production tips and tools and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, consider joining the family by subscribing and let's navigate the live streaming world together. There are a few ways to overlay your live chat on YouTube live, but this one is going to be extra special because I have tested it and it works fine and it gives you a really cool looking design. And so far, I believe this is the best way to actually do this. So I'm not going to take much of your time. Uh, we're going to be using an app called Twidget. I'm going to put a link down below to the app. And what you need is just click to the link. It's going to take you to the Microsoft app uh, store. And what you have to do basically is to install it. So let's go ahead and actually install it. So as soon as you click to the link, it's going to take you to a page like this. And all you have to do is click get. Okay, so it's going to take you here and it's going to ask you to install. So make sure you click to install. Once you click to install, it may take you to a login page for your Microsoft account. So make sure you put in your email address and your password. If you don't have one, you can easily create one. Once you're done, it's going to start installing. And once it's installed, as you can see, it says uh, the product is installed and you have an option to launch. So let's go ahead and click launch. Okay, so the first time you launch it, it's gonna look like this, okay? Okay, so if I go to OBS, as you can see, I'm already live streaming. And if I go to my YouTube page, you can see the stream is right here. So I'm gonna be sending some chats. Uh, let's say hello. This is a test. right so i just got some uh, chats in there okay and i'm gonna go back to obs and let's go back to our app so as you can see this is what our apps looks like once you open it and what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, click sign in so we're going to sign in again okay and this time i recommend you sign in using your youtube pages uh, Google account. Okay, so mine is live production tips and tools, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in and give it a permission to access my YouTube account and click OK. And once you're done, you can see it tells you that you are logged in to into uh, Twidget. So let's go back to our app here. And as you can see, this is the app is already opened. Okay. And I'm logged in and this is my YouTube account attached to it. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to click every time uh, you open the app, you need to go here and click start. Okay. Now, once you click start, actually you have three options. By the way, you can use this Twidget app to show your comments on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, okay? I'm gonna do other separate videos about Facebook and Twitch. For the purpose of this video, we are only focusing on YouTube, okay? So what you need to do, uh, we're gonna go, you're gonna need to bring uh, the link or the URL to, uh, from your live stream. So we're gonna go to my live stream right now, okay? And click, uh, just get the link, just a normal link, okay? Just copy and go back to the app and paste uh, the link. Um, another thing that I have noticed, you cannot right click and paste the link in here. So you're going to need to use your keyboard to paste it, which is uh, control and V. So you hold control and V on your keyboard and the link is going to be pasted. OK, so I believe it's a small bug. Uh, hopefully uh the creator of the app will be able to fix it in the coming days but for now you can just use your keyboard to paste it okay so once you're done you click connect 
and as soon as you click connect you can see i have all my charts available okay so now what we need to do they say let me go ahead and um add another chart just to show you another chart to test the app okay so if i open the app you can see that the chart is right there okay so what we need to do now is we need to take this to obs once you click to this um three dots or three lines okay you can see it gives you uh, a lot of options okay so basically it's gonna give you some obs it's gonna show you some obs uh templates that you can use so you have the classic you have the minimalist so let's go with the classic okay and this is for the chat and then you have some templates for the super chat as well so if you receive some super chats it gives you some you know different presets for that okay if you click to this little cycle here you can see that you have uh, the obs setup uh, kind of guidance okay this is where you can see how to set it up within obs and at the same time yeah it gives you it's like a user guide here how to set up you know the uh, the app in general this is basically what we just did we have been doing okay but for obs part we haven't done it yet so it shows you how to you know open obs create a new browser how to add a doc and everything so but for now what we're gonna need we're gonna need uh this step number two which is how to set the browser source okay and what we're gonna do so we're gonna go back to obs and i'm gonna go to the scene where i want to add the chat and i'm gonna add a new browser source okay let's go ahead and we're gonna call it uh youtube chat okay and click okay so now if we go back to the app just to follow the instructions as you can see it tells you to use the browser source url as localhost 300 uh, slash source okay so we're gonna copy this again if you want to copy you cannot right click and copy you're gonna have to use your keyboard which is gonna be uh, control c on your keyboard okay and you go here you remove this link right here and you're gonna do control v on your keyboard and you should be good to go and as you go to uh, to the setup again the next thing is they ask you to remove the css code and for the width use 400 uh, 450 wide and 500 high okay so we're gonna put 450 and 500 here for the height and we're gonna remove the custom css okay and click ref uh, refresh browser when scene becomes active and we're gonna go ahead and copy the custom css from the app and this is what they want us to add so just go ahead and you do the same thing so it's control copy and go to your obs and do control v the same thing using your keyboard and once you're done yes of course make sure you click uh you choose refresh browser when scene becomes active and click ok so let me select go ahead and select one of the comments which is gonna be hello so as you can see the comment is showing already okay but we are not done because we're gonna need to bring this doc inside uh, obs so we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and go to uh view docs and add custom browse docs okay and i'm gonna go here i already had one added so i'm gonna delete this one okay so i'm gonna name it uh let's say youtube uh, chat okay uh, for this doc i'm gonna use again the same link from the app which is uh, let me see just go ahead control v so it's localhost 300 uh, slash source but for this time instead of using source i'm gonna use doc okay so i'm gonna hit apply and as you can see i have uh, my doc already uh, within obs okay and i'm gonna put it somewhere here 
but for me this looks okay and what i'm gonna do you can go to view docs and lock ui so in that case it stay locked it doesn't move okay by the way as you can see i have my chat already available you can even resize it if you want okay again i don't i don't i don't advise you to kind of stretch it too much because then it's gonna become uh probably too huge uh but you can position it where you kind of like it so for my case i'm gonna put it somewhere here and whenever i'm ready i can take it to program okay so let me go to youtube and send another comment to say hello okay boom send it okay and as you can see if i go back to obs the comment is already there okay so now what i could do is i can select any comment that i want so let's go ahead and select this one boom as you can see the comment is right here and if i go back to youtube you can see the uh, the comment is showing okay so what you need to do every time you sign in you would have to make sure you sign in using the youtube uh, page of course and you would have to put in the link as we did you know make sure you go to your uh, live chat and put in the link of your live stream so basically a few seconds uh, after you start your live stream and you should be good to go i believe this is the best way to do this so far and if you know someone who uses obs please make sure you hit uh, share on this video uh, send it to them also make sure you hit subscribe and like so that the youtube algorithm continue to share this video to more people so let's make sure we get this professional looking live streams by using this widget or this app other than that guys i thank you guys for watching this video if you use obs to live stream on facebook and you want to find a way to actually do the same thing on facebook live or twitch i'm gonna make another video and i'll make sure i'll link it here once it's done or here so make sure you check it out other than that i'll see you on my next video take care